Okay. Uh, injury front, uh, like we mentioned, Jack has a dislocated elbow. Uh, he's in the multiple weeks. Uh, we'll be without him. Josh Johnson, I'd say, is day to day with that neck sprain. Uh, you know, like I told you guys last uh, evening, you know, really disappointed and frustrated. Uh, we didn't do enough of the things that you have to do uh, to win a game versus a division opponent. Um, and, and we have to, we got to own that, and, and we are owning that. And then we got to learn from it, and then we got to move on from it. But that's what today is really important with our players that, that we we uh, we dive into it and, and see some areas that we can improve. And with that, I'll take any questions. Thank you, Coach. We'll start with Tom Withers. Thank you, Rob. Hey, Kevin. Um, with Jack, is that is that going to be an IR situation or a possible surgery? I, I'm not not entirely sure yet, Tom. Uh, I, I would say we'll see uh, on that decision. As far as your offense goes, you've only managed 41 points in the last three games. I know you want to score more. I know you want bigger chunk plays, et cetera. Kevin, are you having to kind of reevaluate philosophically how you approach a game um, in, in just in terms of getting more explosiveness out of that group? Yeah, I think you're right, Tom. We, uh, we did not score enough points yesterday. Uh, we, we haven't scored enough points the last few weeks, like you mentioned. Uh, we have to look at it. We got to uh, find ways to be explosive with the ball, run game, pass game. Uh, we have to stay on the field and convert on third downs. And then when we get down to the red zone, we got to convert those into points. So there's there's a bunch of plays like there are every week uh, that we all wish we had back. And and we got to make sure that we capitalize on them uh, because that's in, in order to score those points, uh, we got to make some big plays in the run of the pass. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Mary Kay Cab is next. Uh, yeah, Kevin, um, specifically, can you talk a little bit about, you know, Baker's performance in that game? How do you think that he did? Do you attribute, do you attribute any of, you know, the, the multiple dropped passes to anything that Baker's doing? Or did he do his job and, uh, and the guys around him didn't? And if so, you know, kind of what's just so wrong in general with this passing game? Yeah, I think Mary Kay, we just, we missed some opportunities is probably the easiest way of putting it. And, uh, and that's where I need to do a better job. I got to put guys in position uh, to go make a play. Uh, you know, the guys will tell you when there's plays that, that they want to make them. Um, and and there were some drops yesterday. Uh, that's uncharacteristic. Uh, but we got to make those plays. And, and there's plays when uh, I know I can do a better job. So uh, we got to we got to take care of it. We got to address it. We got to practice it. But we absolutely have to be better. Thank you. Thanks, Mary Kay. We'll go to Jeff Shadell. Hey, Kevin, uh, specifically to, to Odell Beckham, he was on the uh, field for like 43 plays yesterday, but only two targets. What is, we talk about this week after week, what is missing in that harmony that should be there by now? Yeah, I think I, I would tell you, first and foremost, I need to do a better job. Uh, I really do. I need to make sure uh, that, that I put him in position to make some plays and, and I didn't do a good enough job uh, certainly yesterday. Uh, having said that, you know, he gets a lot of attention from the defense. Uh, there were a bunch of plays where the safety uh, is cheating to him and, and that opens up opportunities for other guys. I think of a, an early third down that we had uh, where the post safety stayed to the boundary side because he was cheating towards Odell and we had a big play to Jarvis. So his uh, effect on our offense uh, is there. Uh, but I do need to do a better job of making sure that the ball uh, makes its way into his hands. Thank you, Jeff. We'll go to Scott Patrick. Hey, Kevin, I'll follow up on what Jeff just said. You you call like Odell dynamic all the time. Coming off the injuries that he's had, do you think he's still a dynamic player? I do. Yeah, I do, Scott. And I, I base that off of what I see from him uh, each week. Uh, and, and again, you know, I just think he can he can affect the game. And, and that's where I'm, I'm really uh, making sure that myself, our coaches, we, we have to put him in position to make some plays. In that play on that last drive, um, how would you break it down? It looked like Baker might have been a little late going to him, but then Odell only goes up with one hand. What did you see? Yeah, I, I think that was, uh, you know, the, the ball really wasn't designed to go there uh, necessarily. Uh, they played a coverage I, I wasn't anticipating, um, and we just didn't connect on that. Uh, but that, that, that was, would have been a difficult uh, catch. Thanks. Thanks, Scott. Next, we'll go to Dan Lobby. 
Hey, Kevin, I just wanted to follow up on Jack real quick first. Um, are, are you confident he'll be back this season? I know, I know you said weeks, but. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a significant injury, but I do expect him back this season. Okay. And, and I wanted to ask about Baker. Uh, you know, obviously he's so effective, play action, rollouts, you know, things like that. Have you had to adjust some of that stuff, though, to kind of protect that shoulder a little bit? No, not in that game. Uh, they just they play very, very wide. Uh, in their attack. So they're going to take away some of those boots and rollouts and keepers. Um, but no, we won't, we won't not do those uh, because of Baker uh, in any way. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Darren Ryder, go ahead. Yeah, Kevin, uh, last year you guys were kind of stuck in a bubble. And so football was, I guess, somewhat your, an escape and something for everyone to really focus on. Do you feel like the the attention to detail and the focus that you were able to get out of your team last year has been here early on with, you know, some of the drops, the pre-snap penalties, those type of things? Do you just feel like that that focus and attention to detail you're getting that from the guys right now? Yeah, Daryl, I, I do. I, I wouldn't um, I wouldn't attribute the drops or or some of those operational errors uh, to. Uh, preparation in, in any way being affected, uh, like you mentioned. Uh, I just think we have to do a better job. I mean, we had games at home, I can think of last year in some tough weather where we had some drops, but uh, we, we got to clean those up. And I just want to go back to Odell real quick. Um, we, we seem to ask like the same questions about him, his production, how he fits on, on a regular basis. And the answers have been, you know, fairly consistent between we got to do a better job he is having an effect on the offense, but, um, you know, this is a guy that is used to putting up big numbers. And when he came here, it, the expectation was that he was just going to be this explosive dynamic playmaker. Just does he just not fit right now with the offense? No, I, I think, uh, you're not gonna like to hear it, but I need to do a better job. Um, and we scored 10 points, so uh, I certainly have to do a better job there. Thanks. Thank you, Daryl. Nate Ulrich, you're up. Hey, Kevin, is uh, Blake Hans your starting right tackle uh, as long as Jack's out? Yes. Okay. And with the, those moving parts, um, you know, I, I obviously understand that you guys are always going to look at things, and Andrew Berry and his guys are always going to look at things. And, does this put you though in a in a position where you might look at some line help uh, beyond the normal checking into things uh, before tomorrow's trade deadline? Yeah, I think you know Andrew and the personnel staff are always looking at all those type of things, but I can't comment on any uh, anything that they may do. Thanks, Nate. Next up is Marla Reidenauer. Uh, yeah, Kevin, I was just wondering about Chubb. Did you, do you think he looked rusty? I mean, we had a lot of, you know, short runs and then he only one, only one long one that kind of looked like him. Yeah, Marlon, I think he's healthy. Uh, I do think like anybody working back from an injury, um, you know, he's, well, I guess nobody's a hundred percent that last first day of training camp, everybody's a hundred percent, but um, I, I think he's healthy. Uh, and then I, I think he'll just keep getting better. Uh, each week and one quick thing just coach Dungy said last night on tv that he thought that was roughing the passer on the fake field goal um did Jordan do anything wrong there do you think I can't uh I'm gonna let coach Dungy's words <laughs> <laughs> I'll let him speak for himself okay thank you thank you Marla back to Jeff Shadow. Hey, Kevin, how about uh, Denzel Ward? Can you give us an update on him? Do you think you'll, you'll have him for the Cincinnati game? Yeah, I'm, I, I hope, uh, I'm hoping that we will, uh, but I'll have a better feel for that come Wednesday. Appreciate it, Jeff. Uh, Didi king -Kawala, you're up. Going to what Marla was asking about Nick Chubb, when you look at what the Steelers were able to do defensively, you know, they came in saying that Nick is the best after contact and it takes more than one guy to tackle him. So how were they able to sort of bottle up those run lanes? What exactly did they do against a team that runs so well? 
Yeah, Didi, they did a they did a nice job, and that's we talked about that yesterday. I you know first thing is you have to give credit to their defense. They uh, they that's a physical front. Um, they have some really really good players along that front, and uh, they did a nice job in, against our run game. A lot of times knocking us back. Uh, we had we won our fair share. They uh, definitely were physical uh, at the point of attack, and we just have to find ways to uh, to to run the ball versus a tough front, and and we've. Uh, We've gone up against some tough fronts this season. Uh, so, you know, again, credit to them. But so, so just to follow, that's kind of the question. You're going to see another tough front this Sunday in Cincinnati. You've beaten tough fronts before. Was there anything unusual that they did? Was there anything that was surprising or odd or, I mean? Not really. I mean, uh, they played their defense. They played their base front. Uh, they played their nickel front. They, they pressured some. Uh, but they, they just they did a good job uh, and I, I got to find ways uh, to, to make sure we, we can be explosive in, in our run game and, and we didn't do it enough uh, yesterday. Thank you, Didi. Tom Withers, you're up. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, Kevin. I hope you got out trick or treating last night. Hey, um, I know you'll turn over every rock to fix this. What's the heaviest one right now? What's most concerning to you? Yeah, I think for us, Tom, we have to uh, make the most of our opportunities. And I, I've seen it from this group. Uh, I've seen some really good moments from this group. I know what we're capable of. Uh, we have not done it. We haven't done it consistently enough. Uh, and, and that's going to be you know, the charge going into another division game is we got to find ways to to score some points. And, and again, uh, it's there's never one answer to, to all of it. Uh, there's certainly schematic things that we can do. There's certainly plays that the guys can make, but uh, we'll just make sure that we are pulling this thing apart and making sure that we give them a plan uh, this week that they can go play fast. On the, I know you, it's complimentary football. That's about all the units, but in terms of defense, are you, are you pleased with what you've seen out of the last couple of weeks? Yeah, I think, you know, obviously to hold a team to 15 points, uh, you know, is a good outing. Uh, but really not good enough is what I would tell you. And that's why I told the players, uh, you know, none of us did enough. Uh, when, you, when you don't win, it's, it's always a question of what more could I have done? Uh, so uh, while we were good in moments, um, we got to take the ball away. And we didn't do that yesterday. Uh, and we got to find a way uh, on some of those drives to get off the field. Thanks. Thank you, Tom. We'll go to Scott Patrick. Hey, Kevin, I know what you just said about being able to run against a team that's trying to take away the run game. But isn't the other answer just trying to throw against a team that's doing all it can to take away your run game? And how can you do that better? Yeah, I think when the opportunities are there, Scott, uh, in the run actions or the play actions uh, off of the run, we got to make those uh, make those count. And then, you know, it, when you get in a game, uh, Nick's proven to be pretty good in the fourth quarter. Um, and if we can – uh, run the ball in tough situations. That's That's been uh, what we've done in the past. We didn't get it done yesterday, um, but we'll see. Each game's going to call for its its own uh, game. But uh, bottom line is when you get in those moments, whether you're running it, when you're, whether you're throwing it, you got to find a way to get in the end zone. And just in general, do there need to be more downfield shots taken? It feels like there haven't been as many maybe the last few games as there were early in the season. Yeah, I think a lot of what our, we're doing – uh, off of those play actions in particular, um, you, you are looking to push the ball down the field. And sometimes those opportunities are there. Uh, sometimes they're not. Sometimes it's the second read uh, is covered and you come down to a check down or, or what, what have you. But uh, we're certainly looking for opportunities to push the ball down the field. Appreciate it, Scott. Ashley Bastock has our next question. Hey, Kevin, I know yesterday you talked about some of the issues going vertically down the field, especially early, and that you would have to look at that to maybe figure some of those out. I guess just a day removed. What are your thoughts on that, especially with yesterday? Yeah, Ashley, I think for a lot of our past game, um, we do want to push the ball down the field. Uh, you also want to get completions versus zone, uh, and you don't want to ask too much of protection. Uh, you know, so versus a good front, there were times where we were trying to get the ball out quickly. Uh, that's not to say that every play is going to be getting the ball out quickly. There are some slower developing opportunities to hit the ball, uh, hit some shots down the field. And those are the ones that, that we're going to work real hard on uh, and, and find ways to get that done. Thanks. 
Thank you. PJ Ziegler, go ahead. Thanks, Rob. Kevin, what's different with the offense the last four weeks compared to what we saw the first four weeks of the season? Well, I mean, the obvious answer is you got to score points. Um, and I think, PJ, it's probably, uh, you know, worth looking at all of it and, and pulling it apart. And, and the simple, you know, way to score points is to stay on the field on, on third down. Um, and then we got to make sure that we're explosive in the pass game. And did you notice yesterday that maybe Baker Mayfield had happy feet in the pocket and that led to some of the, the high passes? And how much of that is a result of him trying to get the ball out and protect that uh, that left shoulder? Yeah, I thought uh, there were a couple plays uh, that, you know, I'm sure throws that he wants back. That's every quarterback, every game. Um, but we'll always coach him up on every play on, on what he can do better. Thanks, PJ. We have time for two more. Mary Kay Cabot, Tony Grossi. Mary Kay? Uh, yeah, Kevin, uh, you know, week to week, we do hear you say, I need to do a better job. I need to do a better job. Uh, so specifically, uh, again, you don't have the bye week until week 13, where you can really break this whole thing down. But when you say that, uh, do you mean that you need to call better plays? Do you need to use different formations? Uh, do you need to collaborate more with, with Alex? Um, what do you think that you need to do better going forward? Yeah, all of the above. Uh, I think we have to, as we design plays, uh, we got we got to give the quarterback some some uh, easy ones. We got to uh, call them at the appropriate time. We we have to do all of it better. I would tell you, Mary Kay. Um, you know, and, and that's where Alex and the offensive staff uh, we work together really, really hard. Uh, we work hard on this, these type of things and. Uh, I can promise you this afternoon, it's going to be more of that and finding ways that we can be explosive. Can I just follow up on that real super quick? Like, you know, David seemed to, to get going a little bit there in, in the second half. I mean, do you have to take a look at the, it that way and say, we got a couple of guys here who have a hot hand. We got to get the ball more to those kind of guys. Um, you know, Dearness seemed to be coming off of a big game and he didn't necessarily carry the ball. He didn't carry the ball very much yesterday. Is it just, use of personnel and kind of going maybe with the hotter hand at times too? I mean, uh, yes. I think it's all of that, Mary Kay. Um, and, and I just think with our players in particular, that's where, again, it's my job. It's our job as an offensive staff to put those guys in position to succeed, whether it's David, whether it's Dearness, whomever it may be, we got to make sure that we put them in position to succeed. Thank you, Mary Kay. Final question to Tony Grossi. <laughs> Kevin, uh, one of the recurring themes of your losses this year has been the offense in the fourth period, fourth quarter has not been able to get it done. Uh, how big a source of disappointment is to you and your staff is it that you haven't solved that riddle yet? Yeah, Tony, I mean, it's it's frustrating anytime you don't win. Uh, and we have to finish. Uh, we got to close games, like you mentioned. The, the games in this NFL are, are going to be tight, uh, and we understand that, and we got to find a way to finish. We didn't get it done yesterday, uh, which is disappointing. And and we have opportunities where, where I got to come through for the players. We got to make a play in certain situations, but, but it's absolutely a, a part of what we're, you know, charged with moving forward is, is making a play in, in those fourth quarters and, and put a game away on offense. And uh, given Jarvis Landry's uh, career and what he means to this team, how do you process a game he had uh, yesterday? Is, is that just a blip on the screen or is there a determining factor that uh, health-wise that caused the, the drops and the fumble? Yeah, I mean, I don't think Jarvis would, would uh, say that the injury uh, caused uh, the drops or the fumble. Uh, he, he's a battler. Um, he, you know, he's fighting through that uh, and, and we're counting on him. And, and I think you guys know that he knows that. Um, so he, he's going to continue to fight.